What is it about this milky substance that makes it so useful? It's composed of polymer chains, extremely long molecules that are uniquely flexible. To understand what a polymer is, it helps to think about a water molecule. One oxygen atom in the middle and then two hydrogen atoms stuck to it. A polymer molecule is similar to that, except instead of there only being three atoms, there's thousands and thousands of atoms. And those atoms are most often arranged in a long, long chain. These polymers, or macromolecules, make up natural materials like rubber, known chemically as polyisoprene, cellulose, and silk. Rubber is a highly elastic and durable substance. It is produced both naturally and synthetically. Chemically, natural rubber is long chains of isoprene, which consist of five carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. The long polymer chains in rubber are all tangled up in each other. And that holds the material together and gives it some strength and cohesiveness. At the same time, if you think about the spaghetti on a plate, when you're swirling your fork around in it, you can see those spaghetti strands can move past each other pretty easily. Rubber molecules are a lot like that. Okay, rubber's got a spaghetti-like molecular structure, so what good is that? Simply put, it makes rubber bouncy and stretchy, and fundamentally, it makes rubber a lot of fun.